Welcome to the Bone Lab Ripping Tutorial. This will cover ripping Bone Lab Patch 5 and newer. Hopefully, the tutorial should remain relevant for future patches. Also, it should work for previous patches as well, if you would like to rip those for some reason. If you own Bone Lab on Oculus Quest or Oculus PC, open the Oculus PC app. Go to Library, click on Bone Lab, the three dots, Details, and click on this location. It will copy it to your clipboard. Then open File Explorer and paste the address in the file address bar. This is your Bone Lab install. For Steam, open up Steam, go to Library. I don't own Bone Lab on Steam, so I'll be using Vertigo 2 as an example. Right click Bone Lab, Manage, Browse Local Files. And this is your Bone Lab install for Steam. Next, head to the second link in the description. This is for Asset Ripper. What Acid Ripper does is essentially decompile Bone Lab into prefab, scene, audio, texture, and more file. To download, go into the GitHub, click on the Releases tab. In this case, the most recent version is 1.1.2. Find your platform, in this case I'll be using Windows, and click the x64 download. Next, you will need the Bone Lab script migrator script from Evro Dev, aka Evro Developer. To obtain this script, you can use the Google Drive link in the description, or if you have Discord, you can find it in the Bone Lab, or Lava Gang, or My Servers. Simply head over to those respective servers mod resources channel and look for the Bone Lab script migrator message by Evro Dev, aka Evro Developer. To download, simply click on the download icon on the script and save it somewhere on your computer. Next, we must create a destination project for your Bone Lab rip. I will not be going over this process as there are many tutorials on YouTube. In fact, I have linked one in the description. All that you need to know is that you must install the Mero Extended SDK from the Mero Extended SDK GitHub, which is again in the description below. Once again, I will not be covering the installation as there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube. Once your project with the Mero Extended SDK for patch 5 is properly set up, drag the Bone Lab script migrator script into your project's editor folder. If there is not an editor folder already, please create one and drag the script in. Once you move the script in, head up to Tools, Evro Dev, GUID Reference Converter. This will open up this nifty window. This is all the setup you must do for your destination project. Now, we must rip Bone Lab. To rip Bone Lab, Find your Asset Ripper Win64.zip folder with the Asset Ripper executable and extract it with your favorite extraction tool. Open the extracted folder and open AssetRipper.exe. When Asset Ripper opens, you will see this window. Do not fret, it's not scary. All you need to do is click on View, Settings, scroll on down here to Export, and change Script Export Format from a Hybrid to Decompilation. The reason that we need to change this is to make sure that the Bone Lab Script Migrator correctly references GUIDs of scripts that are not in your Assets folder, or in your Package folder. Once this setting has been changed, scroll up, go to File, Open File, and go to your Bone Lab directory. In this case, I have it on Oculus, so I'll go there. From here, all you do is open the Bone Lab executable into Asset Ripper. In your taskbar, you will see a command window. If you open this window, you will see all of the Asset Ripper loading the bundles here from Bone Lab. Wait for this to finish. When it is complete, a green View Loaded Files button will appear. When this appears, click on Export, Export All Files, select Folder, put it on a drive with around 30 or 35 gigabytes of space, and click on Select Folder. It will begin to export all of Bone Lab. This will take upwards of an hour, depending on your computer speed. Give it some time. When it's done ripping, it will say export complete, and you can close Asset Ripper in the browser and the command window. From here, go and open Unity Hub. Click on Add, and locate where you told Asset Ripper to export Bone Lab to, and open the project. I have already ripped Bone Lab, so I'll just open a project that I already have existing. I'll do my Bone Lab mods project, and open the folder with the assets, packages, and project settings folder in it. Click on open. The reason we need to open the raw bone lab rip is to give every asset in the rip its own meta file. Without these meta files, there will be no proper script transfer from the destination from the raw rip over to your destination. Give it upwards of an hour to open. You may notice that the project does not open. 
This is normal behavior. When the window pops up that asks you would you like to enter safe mode or quit, click on quit, as we do not need to fully open the project. We only need to open it to the point where everything has .meta files. Navigate to where you told Asset Ripper to export BoMap 2. Then, in another file explorer window, open the assets folder of your destination project. What you are going to do now is copy dump everything from your BoneLab raw rip over to your destination project's asset folder, except the scripts folder. Everything besides the script folder must be copy dumped over to your patch 5 destination project's asset folder. This process may take a while as there are a lot of files that need to be duplicated. Once the process is complete, feel free to delete every folder in your raw rip besides the scripts folder and the scripts.meta file. Once this process is complete, open the destination project in Unity. Fair warning though, this will take quite a while to open as there are a lot of new files that Unity must process. Once this process is complete, open your destination project. Once again, go to Tools, Evro Dev, aka Evro Developer, GUID Reference Converter. In this window, you will notice that there are four fields that you must input. The first says SDK Asset Scripts and it's defaulted to the assets folder. This is fine, just leave it as it is. The next path is the SDK package path. To find this path, right click anywhere in your assets folder down in the project window and click in show on explorer. Go back a few folders until you see your assets, library, logs, etc. folders. You need to open your library folder, package cache, com.slz.mero extend SDK, and copy this path. Then back in your destination project in the bone lab script migrator folder, Paste this address into the SDK package path path. Next is your text mesh pro package path. The reason we need this is to properly convert and fix text. To find it, go back to your destination project's library, package cache folder, and scroll down until you find com.unity.textmeshpro in some version. Open this folder and copy the path from the file bar. Go back into your destination project and in the third path, paste in the file that you just copied. For the RIP folder, navigate to your raw BoneLab RIPs script folder. This is found inside of its assets slash script folder. All you need to do is open the folder and copy the file path and then paste it into the ripped folder path. Here is what all the fields should look like properly filled out. If it looks similar to mine, click on gather GUIDs. This will pop up a loading window, which shows you how many scripts and meta files it has loaded. This process usually takes up to five minutes and you should have around 1.9 thousand scripts to essentially transfer and fix. Once that is complete, we must run the tool again. However, we will be adjusting a few of these paths. The first path we must adjust is the SDK package path path. We need to change it to a directory that is named assets backslash it can be any folder as long as it's completely empty in your assets folder in your destination project. If this timeline folder does not exist, simply right click anywhere in your projects window, create, folder, and name it timeline. Then in your text mesh pro package path path field, remove the com.unity.textmeshpro extension at the end and also remove the last backslash. So it is just the destination's package cache folder. Once this is done, click on gather GUIDs again. At this point, it will run through the 1.9k scripts again, the window will close promptly, and then another one will open that shows it's converting around 6,000 scripts. If it shows 6,000, you've done it correct. If it shows less than 6,000, double check that you've correctly reassigned your package path folders here. Once it's done processing all 6,000 scripts, in your assets folder, navigate to underscore SLZ packages, underscore bone lab, underscore scenes, and in this folder is where every single bone lab scene is stored, besides a few which are kind of not important. So this is how we're going to fix a scene. Because all of these scenes are in this folder and the script migrator searches subfolders within the folder that you're about to select, you should be able to just select your assets folder as the limit search folder too, if you want to just do every single scene in your rip. Thank <laughs> you.